and earth when it comes to the Cowboys or the Rangers, building two and soon to be three world-class stadiums just to make sure the big boys get what they need. Unfortunately, Betty Warner is just a homeowner, and apparently that doesn't count for much in Arlington. Our Bradley Blackburn told us Thursday about the $2 million three-acre dream home Betty built a decade ago. Pool, koi pond, perfect place, until new development on Cooper Street seven years ago. Since then, a lot of rain and runoff and garbage, some sewage has ended up in her yard. Betty complained to the city, even built a $150,000 retaining wall at their suggestion. Didn't solve the problem. Now Betty's told Arlington always planned to flood the property for runoff, had an agreement with a previous landowner, which she knew nothing about, but begs the question, isn't it the city that approves a permit to build a home on such land? Well, yes, but Warner claims city officials told her it's not their business to tell people what to do with their property. Really? Something tells me if any homeowner, any landowner, started flooding out part of Cowboy Stadium or Globe Life Park, somebody at City Hall would get off their duff and come up with a better answer for Jerry Jones of the Rangers than, well, we can't tell people what to do with their property. Betty Warner is now taking the city to court, so Arlington officials say they can't comment on it. But it sure would be nice if at least one of those elected officials always begging for a vote could see their way clear to helping this one Arlington homeowner. You can comment on Facebook. Look for WFAA-TV. Well, good afternoon.